In 2006, he was denied a promotion. Administrators were retaliating against him for conservative views, he claimed. The jury agreed because he was able to show proof. That's just an example, folks, of how if you're not a total communist, you don't get a job in Hollywood. Now, let's continue here. Rush Limbaugh, this is CNN. They report this, and I actually got my son the book. I think overall it's a good book. It's got, you know, the Tea Party folks on the cover taking over the ship, and it glorifies the founding fathers and free market. Rush Limbaugh, and he's come up with a whole whole chain of these. And I was already thinking of this, so I want it on record. I'm going to do children's books if I ever get the time to get around to it, because this is exactly what I would do. We have got to reach out to the youth. But the system has had the public schools and controlled them forever, and they think those children belong to them. And again, I'm not endorsing all of Rush Limbaugh's ideas, but his book, and I've now scanned over it, is light, night and day compared to what's being taught in the public schools. I mean, they're teaching Heather has two mommies, George Washington's bad. They teach the military. The founding fathers wouldn't be uh, allowed in today's military. And now they come out and say, oh, my gosh, he's won a preliminary uh, vote for his book to be number one children's book. Remove it. Ban it. It's evil. It's racist. It's homophobe. I mean, these people are book burners, folks. This is how you burn books high tech. This is how you lynch books 21st century is you don't allow them to be reviewed, covered, seen, or to win awards. And when they start winning and when it's set in the queue to go to the finalist phase and win, oh, no, you've got to have it removed, which is a total Streisand effect of where you try to cover something up and only makes it bigger. You people are losing control and you hate it. And again, if they can, if they can take away Rush Limbaugh's book, listen, if there was a communist book that had been selected and being promoted and was being voted to win, I wouldn't say take them out of the running because then you can take my book out of the running. Don't you understand that these are authoritarian dirtbags, folks? Listen to this article. Rush Limbaugh, radio host, conservative firebrand and children's book author of the year. The Children's Book Council and its Every Child Reader program released a Thursday. They're author of the year finalists for their annual Children's T Choice Book Awards. Limbaugh is one of the four finalists, and his nomination has promoted outrage on social media, given the host often incendiary nature. Rush Revere and the Brave Pilgrims, Time Travel Adventures. He's written a book about my family. I appreciate it. Rush Revere and the Brave Pilgrims, Time Travel Adventures and Exceptional Americans, a time-traveling tale of colonial America and the latest of two books in the Rush Revere series. And then it goes in to say they want it pulled and then the groups that want it pulled. Here's another one. I mean, they are just going after the First Amendment on every front. Here's another one. Rand Paul comes out and calls for unity. All race, colors, religion, creed for the First Amendment, for the Fourth, and I don't have the NSA spying on us, that we're all under attack, that Congress is being blackmailed. Al Sharpton comes out and tries to say he's a racist or, or tries to you know, basically lie about what Rand Paul has stood for, and he can't even get the name right. We're going to play that clip, folks, right now. Where does Ron Paul get off talking about race and civil rights at all? Yeah, you own that. This is the man who Start once it said over. he would have modified the... I want to point out, he calls him Ron Paul. He can't even read a teleprompter right. I mean, this guy is a mega race pimp on record. Do I have to give you the quotes of Al Sharpton about Jews and stuff? I mean, the point is, the guy's just really a piece of work. And then he's got the nerve to claim Rand Paul's a type of racist. Remember when the Democrats got caught dressing up with, in, in like hayseed outfits with racist signs? And then we pointed out that it was known Democratic operatives, our listeners did, and they found the same photo of the guy, and the guy had to admit it was a, quote, joke. Democrats did that down in Houston. They go to Tea Party events and dress up in KKK outfits, folks. But that's what the FBI does running the Klan. They go out and go to everybody's gun event in a Klan outfit. This is how they do it, and I'm sick of it. Let's go back to Al Sharpton, who can't even read a teleprompter. Where does Ron Paul get off talking about race and civil rights at all? This is the man who once said he would have modified the Civil Rights Act if he'd been a senator at the time. Should Woolworth lunch counter should have been allowed to stay segregated? Sorry, just yes or no? What I think would happen... What, what I'm saying is, is that I don't believe in any discrimination. There's 10 different titles, you know, to the Civil Rights Act, and 9 out of 10 deal with public institutions, and I'm absolutely in favor. One deals with private institutions, right, let's pause. and had I been around...
let's hit pause. That's famous because we've talked to him where they were fading his audio up and down. They do that. To, and I've been on TV where you can't hear and they're playing stuff in your ear. And then he's explaining. But, you know, should Christians have a right to not rent a room to a Satanist? That That's the full article he wrote a few years ago. And, and, and yeah, I should be able to rent a room to who I want. And sure, there may be racists out there who don't want to rent a room, you know, to somebody they don't like. There's black racists, white racists. But sure, that's your issue. Private property. They're now telling the Catholic Church they have to pay for abortions and they have to hire Satanists. Should the Catholic Church be able to say no? Well, of course, folks, because Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. The government doesn't have a jurisdiction in your private life. Do Hopi Indians have to let me show up to one of their dances and take mescaline and dance around? No. Can the feds arrest them for taking mescaline? No, it's their religion. That's the First Amendment, not what they say it is, not what Al Sharpton, he's the boss, he owns the race issue, is doing. They're very upset about Rand Paul. They're very scared of him. Right now at Emergency Essentials, get free shipping on every order over $150. And that's not all. We have the guaranteed lowest prices anywhere, like our new Farmer's Market Vegetable Combo that's on sale for 50% off. That's six cans of freeze-dried veggies for only $79.99. Or get Mountain House Pork Chops for 22% off. Call Emergency Essentials at 800-999-1863 or click BePrepared.com. The choice is clear. Be unprepared or BePrepared.com. Attention gun owners, it's reasonable to assume that at some point you may need to defend your family from an armed attack. But is it reasonable to mount a defense without a strong offense? Infidel Body Armor goes on in seconds, is civilian legal in all 50 states, is 100% made in the USA, is veteran owned, and ships next business day for free. Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com. I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. Ladies and gentlemen, America is more dangerous than ever with 9 million property crimes last year. Crimes are happening every day. Be proactive and protect your home and family. Simply Safe Home Security System helps guard against criminals, thugs, and thieves. Listen, Simply Safe is the absolute best alarm system and company in America today. Here's why. We offer a 60-day money-back guarantee. It's affordable, no contracts to sign, and is built with the latest wireless technology. Simply Safe protects the ones you love the most, even if a criminal cuts your power and phone lines. When you order Simply Safe today, you'll receive a 10% discount along with a free keychain remote. Don't wait. This offer is only valid through February 28th. Take advantage of this special discount offer at GetSimplySafe.com. That's GetSimplySafe.com. Protect your home and family now at GetSimplySafe.com. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy bodies products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. We're going to take your phone calls in this segment and the next. And then we are going to talk to Mr. Galloway, member of the uh, UK Parliament, about geopolitics and a bunch of breaking news. And should we have war crime charges for the Gulf War on Tony Blair and others? They premeditatedly did lie. Right now, uh, let's talk to uh, Michael in Florida. Thanks for holding her on the air. Hey, Alex. Uh, I just want to. Uh, ask you a question about I listened to you as a as a college listener. I just wanted to get your opinion on the status of college education and also if you have any advice for 
students like me who are kind of aware of what's going on uh, within the government and all the stuff they try to uh, deploy on the college students. And uh, if you have any advice for any college listeners who are uh, aware of what's going on around Well, you. they try to get you in a group think, it's a great question, and then make you think that leftist ideology is the only moral ideology, and they try to restrict and ban everybody else. But then they also deftly act like only conservatism is the only other choice. Mainline republicanism that's, that's absolutely despicable on many fronts. So that's basically it. There's libertarianism, uh, you know, there's classic liberalism. You shouldn't let them define what they're setting up as liberal. Thomas Jefferson was a liberal. What they promote at the colleges today predominantly is the opposite of liberalism. It's authoritarianism. So, so much of it is labeling. Uh, and uh, so that's what it goes down to. They're very anti-man, very anti-family. Uh, they want to domesticate you. Uh, also, the colleges, most people, I've seen different numbers, but it's over 80% will never get the money back for what they've spent on college in job markets. Most of the, the degrees they're giving out are pretty much worthless, unless it's in engineering or in you know the law or other areas. And there's a glut of lawyers. Uh, so there's a lot of problems out there. And uh, I'm not saying college isn't for everybody. If you're trying to send your daughter to the best sorority to find the best rich man to marry it, or vice versa with your son, it's a great way to keep your, you know, to send them to the right sorority and to keep them in the right families if you want them to marry into wealth. Uh, or if you want to go to West Point, you, you know, if you want to end up being the chairman of the Joint Chiefs someday, you better go to West Point and your grandpa better have been the chairman of the Joint Chiefs on top of it. Uh, and, and then you better also get, you know, three Purple Hearts in combat and have 160 IQ and, you know, stuff like that. But, I mean, there are reasons to go to college, but most of you are there to just pay for the institution and you're being used. D does that answer the question? Yeah, that answers the question. Because uh, to me, sometimes school almost seems secondary to me because of, not because I'm unintelligent, but just because I'm not motivated to do the work that they have. The most important thing in college is to join the golf team and hang out with the elites so that they know you when you get out of college to get a job. The most important thing in business and life is social skills. So if you want to go to college to learn social skills and get into the right groups and hang out with the right people and never screw anyone, never cheat anyone, never gossip, never backstab, be a fun person, you'll be successful. The degree part means nothing unless you're an engineer. That's what all these people don't get out there in alternative media that backstab and freak out and act mentally ill all day. They always wonder why they're not successful and why they're, quote, blackballed. No one's blackballed them. No one associates with losers. No one associates with, with, with this arrested development, junior high. You see it in business everywhere. Lazy, lying, cheating, delusional, fantasy land stuff. And if you want to be successful, work hard, be charming, be nice. Uh, study the trade publications and whatever industry you're in, you'll dominate. Your only problem will be what plums to, to pick. Look, anybody can go start in a major boom city, a tree trimming company, and be very charming to the, to the people's houses you go to and get a good name, and you'll be trimming everybody's trees on the block, and you're going to live in a half-million-dollar house and have a crew of 50 people working for you. I could go do that right now, okay? Stay with us. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. The key is to be aware of this attack and to fight back against it. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life.